everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are new here I hope you'll subscribe before you go so today's video we are on part two of our five part series of secrets cruise lines don't tell you about and part two was all about drink secrets so if you're interested to find out some tips and tricks about drinks on board stay tuned all right so the first secret is open container rule uh, if you didn't know cruise ships do not have an open container rule meaning you can take your drink that you get from the bar or wherever else you get it anywhere on the ship that you want to go there's no you know you don't have to drink your drink at the bar or in the restaurant you can take it to the Lido deck go sit by the pool go to the comedy club wherever there's no open beverage policy the second drink secret is wine on reserve this means like if you buy a bottle of wine, which is usually cheaper to buy a bottle than to buy a glass every day, they will actually save the bottle for you if you don't finish it at dinner and they'll put your name and your cabin number on there and you can use it for another night at dinner. They'll even take it to a different restaurant wherever you plan to have dinner later on when you want to use the bottle. Also. Just know that if you bring your own bottle of wine, they do have a corking fee. So make sure you remember to bring your cork. You can get cheap ones at the dollar store, um, but they will charge you about $15 to open your bottle of wine for you if you bring it on and don't purchase it through them. The next secret is beer buckets. So if you have three or four of your friends, or if you just like to drink a lot of beer, it's usually a little bit cheaper if you buy the bucket which will have like four or five bottles of beer in the bucket and it's usually cheaper like per bottle than it is if you buy just one at a time so and then I believe the buckets are like collectible or souvenirs or whatever I'm not a hundred percent sure as I don't drink beer but I'm pretty sure you can keep it the next drink secret is the soda so most cruise lines charge for soda um, by the glass or by the can and they can be at least two dollars or more for one can of soda you can get a drink package like a soda package and it'll have like a set daily price to cover you for your entire trip which if you plan to drink more than two or three sodas a day this actually works out for you because you have your whole trip the sodas are unlimited and you can get them anywhere you can get them at the restaurants any of the bars or wherever so if you plan to do a lot of drinking you can um, save a little bit of money doing it that way the next secret is BYO drinks so a lot of the cruise lines have a limit of what you can bring on board I know with carnival each adult can bring on one bottle of wine or champagne and each person in the cabin can bring one case of canned soda now you are not allowed to bring water on anymore with carnival I'm using carnival as a reference because I cruise with carnival but if you're with a different cruise line I suggest check out their website or give them a call to find out exactly what you can and cannot bring I know most of them or if not all of them won't let you bring on beer or liquor sidebar check the description box if you want to learn a little bit more about that <laughs> um, but you yeah you can't bring on liquor or beer but you can bring on juice or soda but it has to be in a can or a carton you're not allowed to bring on glass or plastic bottles so definitely check with your specific cruise line and maybe even your specific ship because you never know if they have different rules ship by ship but you are definitely allowed to bring on certain items to help you save a little bit of money and the last drink secret is souvenir perks so when you get on board or sometime throughout your trip there's always somebody walking around with a tray of beautiful drinks whether they're in like a disco ball or a fish or some type of um, you know glass with the company name on it those souvenir cups they'll have like one upcharge or whatever but a lot of times if you reuse that cup over and over you will be able to get a discount when you buy a drink I'm not sure how much each discount is you know everything varies per company 
but that's something to ask when you see them and they're like oh do you want this great big um whale tail drink which actually doubles as a piggy bank when you take it home find out if you use that again throughout your trip will you get a slight discount on your drinks might help you save some money there you have it those are some drink secrets that the cruise lines don't often tell you if you have not seen part one which was food secrets check the i card or check the link in the description box and go back and check out number one and don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and most importantly don't forget to come back tomorrow to see what day three secret is all about it is all about cabins I'll see you in my next video. Bye.